Hey y'all, let's try it Tuesday. Let's get busy. Hey y'all, let's try it Tuesday. We're gonna do a couple of things today with some t-shirts. I'm gonna use the tie-dye t-shirts that I make and sell in my Etsy store. There's a link in the description box. I like these shirts because they're loaded with color, but you can use any t-shirt that you have. It's only t-shirts and scissors. It's gonna be easy. Let's get busy. We're gonna make a tie-dyed t-shirt scarf. So first you're gonna make one cut along the shirt from armpit to armpit. Perfect. And now fold up the top of the shirt and put it off to the side. I have to keep it because I'm a craft order. And now we're gonna cut the hem off the bottom of the t-shirt. And now fold that up and put that off to the side. I have an oath. I must keep all things for crafts. Now because this shirt has a pattern, I'm gonna look at it to see do I like one side better than the other. I really like the top of this with this splash of color, so I'm gonna make that the top of my scarf. Smooth it out the best that you can on your work surface. And now we're going to start making cuts on the bottom of the shirt, about an inch apart and approximately three inches to three and a half inches long. Do that all the way across. And now take the end pieces, the sides of the shirt, and cut them up the middle so it makes two pieces of fringe. Do the same on the other side. And now we're gonna stretch the fringe Hold the fringe at the base and give the fringe a little tug. It's going to stretch it out. It's going to roll the fabric. It's going to make it a lot thinner. Don't pull too hard. You don't want to pop the fringe off the bottom of the scarf. Just enough to make it roll. Perfect. And now take the fringe and tie a knot at the base of the cut. Gives it a little bit of decoration. Now that you've completed tying the knots all the way around, you want to give it a little stretch, not too hard, you don't want to tear the fabric. And now you can inspect the knots to see which ones are too tight and might need to be adjusted.
and now take the top of the scarf and give it a good stretch working your way down to the fringe part keep stretching and now you have a really cute tie-dyed fringe scarf let's move on to the next The same with this. All you're going to need is a pair of scissors and a shirt. Cut the collar out from the top of the shirt. Yep, you gotta save that too. And now we're gonna cut the sleeves out. Follow right along the seam. Gives you a good guideline to cut the sleeves. Perfect. And then the same as before, we're going to cut the hem off the bottom of the shirt. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to make fringe on the bottom of this as well. And now take your scissors and same as before, cut your fringe about an inch apart and about three to three and a half inches up. I fold the fringe up and use it kind of like a guide so they're a little bit more even. And then the same as before, take the side pieces, cut them up the middle so it makes two pieces of fringe. And they'll go ahead and give the little pieces of fringe a tug to stretch them out and to give them a good curl. Do that all the way across the bottom of the t-shirt. Now we're going to tie the bottom of the t-shirt as we did for the scarf but we're going to tie the front fringe to the back fringe all the way across making a seam if you will and it's going to close up the bottom of this shirt tying together the front to the back do that all the way across the bottom. I don't know why it's so hard to tie that last knot. There we go. Now the bottom of the bag is closed. But if you look closely, you'll see the way that they're tied, you've got some spaces in between there, and it's a pretty decent sized hole. So we kind of want to close those up as well. What you want to do is take two of the knots that are side by side, so you'll have four pieces of fringe, two in the front, two in the back. To tie up that hole and make it a little bit more secure, 
you're going to tie it diagonally. So you're going to tie the top fringe to the back fringe diagonally across the knot. And then the same with the other two pieces, diagonally back across the knot. And that will close up that hole and make it a little bit more tighter. And continue to do that diagonal tying across the bottom of your bag. And there you have it. You can inspect the bottom of the bag and you may still find a few holes. If you do, you can tighten up those holes by tying the fringe on either side of the hole together in a knot. It's just going to reinforce the bottom of your bag. Go ahead and stretch out the armholes. That's going to make your handles. Give it a good tug. And then the same with the neck hole. That's going to be the opening of your shopping bag. Give it a good tug to give it a good stretch. It's perfect for shopping. I'll be the coolest kid at the store. So there we have it in my awesome scarf. And I can even double it around if I want to like an infinity scarf and wear it a little bit tighter on my neck for a cooler evening. It has a great pop of color to a solid t-shirt and it's just a lot of fun. And while I'm out, I'll take my shopping bag with me. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out. And remember, be peaceful and be kind. It's important. And I'll talk to you soon.